Welcome to the online class organized by Government Haji Muhammad Mohsin College. I am Aisha Tabassuma with you today to conduct this class. Today, our lesson is Are We Aware of These Rights? Part one from the unit, unit eight entitled with human rights. After the completion of this session, that means at the end of your session, you will be able to know the definition of human rights. This means you will be able to define what is human rights, identify the human rights, that means you will, able, you will be able to make list of human rights and you also be able to learn difference between human rights and fundamental rights. You will be able to make difference between human rights and fundamental rights. Look at the pictures below. What is happening in each picture? What is common in the pictures? The first, in the first picture, there is a scenario. In this picture, uh, take this picture is taken uh, by BBC. This picture is showing the torture of military of the Myanmar on the Rohingya Muslims from Rakhine. And here is another picture. In this picture, we notice that the cops are forcefully dragging a young boy. And in this third picture, we have a picture of a child working along with young men. And the finally, in this fourth picture, this picture is also the display of wretched Rohingyas, wretched Muslim Rohingyas from Myanmar, who are compelled, who are compelled to leave their country, leave their own country, and become, become refugees. They take shelter in Bangladesh. What is the common in these pictures? Four of these pictures. Do you notice something? Do you have any idea, any thinking? Yes, the common thing in all these pictures is torture, violation of humanity. That means inhuman treatment to the human being. Now, there is a scenario. What you would do in the following situations and why? Some of your friends do not agree with you on certain issues. This is a situation, describing a situation. They have their own beliefs, but they are few in number. Some of your friends have different beliefs to you. Will you impose your own beliefs on them? Will you try to compel them to obey your beliefs? to observe your beliefs, why or why not? Do you do that or not? Some people tell you that they do not like what you are doing. Some people do not like your style, like your working, like your uh, uh, daily lifestyle. Will you force them to keep silent as you are very powerful? Why or why not? If your answer is yes, make reasons. And also, 
if your answer is negative, also state some reason. The next scenario is some people dominate others who belong to different gender or race or cultural identity. Do you support them? Why or why not? Do you support the people who torture any other minor groups? If you support them, give reason. Or if you do not support them, also make some reason. Human rights. Human rights are the rights that all global men and women should have. These are the most basic rights that protect a human from inhuman behavior of other humans. These rights are more helpful to the survival of every human being in this earth. Human rights are rights inherent to all human beings, regardless of race, sex, nationality, ethnicity, language, religion, or any other status. Human rights include the right to life and liberty, freedom from slavery and torture, freedom of opinion and expression, the right to work and education, and many more. Everyone is entitled to these rights without discrimination. What is this? What is human rights? Human rights are the rights that all global men and women should have. As a human being, the rights we are, the rights we have to live, the rights that we <clears throat> enjoy are the human rights. These are the most basic rights that protect a human from inhuman behavior of other humans. As a human being, we never act inhumanly to other human beings. Human rights are rights inherent to all human beings. It is the, it, these are the rights to everybody, to all human beings who are human beings, obviously enjoy these rights regardless of race, sex, identity, ethnicity, nationality, language, religion, or every or any other status. There is no <coughs> discrimination. Human rights include the right to life and liberty, everything, etc., etc. Now, the question is, in the previous part, in the previous questions, if you answer or yes, then think that whether you violate the human rights or not. If you, you, if you answered negatively, then also think that whether you violate the human rights or not. Now, there are some uh, rights, human rights. This is a small list of human rights. There are so many human rights, but there is some of them. First of all is freedom of speech, right to food, right to safe shelter, right to education, freedom of belief, freedom of press, right to work in just and favorable condition, right to social protection, right to opinion and expression, same right to use law. These, all of these are human rights. Freedom of speech, every human being, every human being has freedom of speech, have freedom to say what he thinks, right to food. Every human being has right to have, to have his food, right to safe shelter, right to education. Every human being have, has right to have 
education to be educated freedom of belief every human being must have his own belief it is his freedom it is his right freedom of press right to work in just and favorable condition every human being has the right to work in his choiceable favorable situation condition favorable place right to social protection right to opinion and expression every human being can express his own thought or own belief same right to use law every human being has right to use law equally now think about your answer in the previous questions three questions are there violation of human rights yes if your answer is negative if you insert negatively you violated some of human rights first of all violation of freedom of choice and also violation of freedom of belief and there is another violation if your answer is negative this is the violation of right to opinion and expression and as a human being we never we never violate these rights there is another term fundamental rights what is fundamental rights the term fundamental right is a technical one for when certain human rights are written down in a constitution and protected by constitutional guarantees they are called fundamental rights the fundamental rights can be changed only by the amendment of parliament of any country in the world article 26 to 47 of bangladesh constitution confers a number of substantive fundamental rights on every citizen of bangladesh fundamental rights is a technical one for when certain human rights are written down in a constitution that means some human rights some human rights which are uh, guaranteed which are declared by the constitution of a country are called fundamental rights all the fundamental rights are the human rights but not all the human rights are fundamental rights because human rights is universal thing applicable for all the human being in this world but fundamental rights are not applicable equally to all the human being living in this world but these rights are applicable to the certain country if the constitution admits these rights for his for its people for its citizen bangladesh also admits some human rights as the fundamental rights for its people for its citizens and this is <coughs> this is uh, enlisted in the third chapter of the constitution from the articles 26 to 47 list of some fundamental rights in bangladesh as a bangladeshi citizen we enjoy some fundamental rights some of the rights are listed here equality before law as a bangladeshi citizen we have equal right to use law this is enlisted in the article 27 in our bangladesh constitution protection of right to life and personal liberty protection of right to life we have right to live our life and 
personal liberty. We have personal liberty or freedom. This is entitled in Article 2032. Prohibition of forced labor. Forced labor is prohibited completely, totally. And this is enlisted A, Article 34. Freedom of movement. This is uh, found in Article 36. Freedom of thought and conscience and of speech. You have freedom of your thinking, your conscience. Article 39. In Article 40, you have right that freedom of profession or occupation. You have right to cho choose your profession or occupation. Freedom of right, sorry, freedom of religion entitled in Article 41, rights to property in Article 42. There are many other fundamental rights enlisted in the Constitution. These are some of them. No. Now let's make difference between human rights and fundamental rights. Previously, I said that all the human rights are not fundamental rights, but in most cases, all the fundamental rights are human rights. What are the differences? Human rights, they are drafted independently for the human survival by the drafting committee of United Nations Commission. Human rights are drafted for the human beings living in this world, living in this uh, earth. Uh, there is And these rights are drafted by the United Nations Commission. On the other hand, the fundamental rights are drafted into based on some human rights by the drafting committee of the country. Human rights are drafted by United Nations Commission and fundamental rights are always are always drafted by the committee of a country, specific country for its citizen. United Nations protected these rights. United Nations always protected the human rights, not the fundamental rights. On the other hand, fundamental rights are protected by country law, by the constitution. Human rights, World Organization enacted these rights by the direction of Human International Committee. Human rights are enacted by the direction of uh, United Nations International Committee. And the country's constitution always enacted these rights, always enacted the fundamental rights by the direction of Constitution Committee under its jurisdiction. A human is treated as a member of the globe in human rights. A human being get the rights, get these rights as a uh, inhabitant, as a member, of this universe, of this globe, of this earth. On the other hand, a human being is treated as a member of the country and he gets all the fundamental rights. Peaceful survival of human in this earth. Human rights is enacted as the peaceful, for the peaceful survival of human in this earth. It, human rights, try to, human rights try to uh, sure, ensure the peaceful survival of human in this earth. On the other hand, fundamental rights try to ensure his citizen a peaceful survival of human in his or her country. These are the 
basic differences between human rights and fundamental rights. Now, at the end of our lesson, of our session, we have an idea about human rights and about fundamental rights, and also have idea about the differences between these, these two rights, two types of rights, human rights and fundamental rights. Now, it's time to work yourself. Here is a uh, homework for you. Write a paragraph on what you mean by human rights, making a list of some rights that men, women, and children have as being, has a, have as a human being and indicating basic differences between human rights and fundamental rights. You have to define human rights first. And also you can define, you can make a definition of fundamental rights also. And uh, you have to make a list of human rights and describe it as your thinking or as your belief what you think about human rights. This is the end of our session. Hope you will be safe and sound. Thank you for joining me in this session. Hope we will have another session later in future. Thank you. Be happy, be safe and Stay home.